Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to start working on the next project for the hop. And the next one is to do a wine bottle or a mason jar, including the top. Um, this is a Winking Owl wine bottle. And I have a lot of wine bottles in my stash because um, this is something I've been wanting to do. I've never done it before, but um, there's a lot of firsts in this hop, so <laughs> why not make this another one, right? So I kind of liked the little owl that's on the cork, so I left him where you could see him, and I uh, used black gesso on everything else to give me that, you know, clean slate. I didn't um, have you guys watch that process because um, you saw that before. So I had two images that I had saved previously that I really liked and um, you'll probably see this one later on but this is the one that I've decided to go with. I did take these into my um, oh I have an editing program it's a Kodak something or other and I did um, edit them to have the uh, color and effect and stuff that I want them to have. It's basically it was this color, but I just enhanced it and Did the portrait to give her a little more color in her face my thinking is and when I Saved this was that the way her hand was positioned that perhaps it could be um, Like she's blowing out hearts or something like that So I'm not sure if I'm going to go that route with it But that was my thinking that perhaps I could do a trickle-down heart kind of thing um, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. You guys know how it is when I start. Um, I might have an idea, but it may or may not go that way. I have all kinds of stuff on the table around me um, for inspiration and to potentially use. I have this um, necklace that I got at um, Walmart for like 50 cents, I think. They were doing a clearance. And I'm really thinking about... Um, it, um, not adhering it, but using something to tack it down on the top here and have it hang down on the back side of the bottle like this. And I will stick it down so it stays in place. And then the chain that hangs down on this side, I'm going to use to put around the image. That's my thinking. So I have this out to potentially use. Um, I was thinking I might use some of these for background texture this time. And I will use paint or inks on them to change the color. May or may not use those. I've got all kinds of metals out here. I've got some gears. I've got some old jewelry pieces. I've got some filigrees, dragonfly, an old heart earring. Just all kinds of metals and stuff around me. I pulled out my... Um, perfect pearls that I have not used yet. I might put some of that on there um, You know like before I just shop through my stash and um, I pulled out some mica flakes um, Whether or not I use all of this or some of this who knows I guess we'll see as it progresses But of course the first thing I want to do is get my image on the bottle so I am going to um, Mod Podge that on. And I started out, I had printed a smaller image because I thought this one might be too big. I did a couple smaller size, the wallet size, but um, decided to go ahead and go with the bigger one because I want it to, um, I do want it to stand out. I want to leave myself some room at the bottom in case I want to put something around the bottom of the bottle. Um, so I think I'm going to put her about right there. And I just really like, um, I chose this one because I really like the way she stands out from the black background. So let's go ahead and get some Mod Podge on there. And again, I'm just going to squirt it out onto my brush. I think I was going to put some parchment paper down and I um, forgot. So, oop, it always does that to me, doesn't it? First it doesn't come and then all of a sudden I get a big old burst of it. That's all right because I'm going to need quite a bit of it. So I'm just going to generously apply it to make sure um, 
I have enough for the image. You know, like I've said before, it doesn't hurt to have too much, but if you don't have enough, you're going to be in trouble. So I always like to make sure I have enough. And there, there is a label on this side underneath here because initially I was going to try and save the label of the winking owl and use it. But um, when I was putting the black gesso on, I accidentally got it where I didn't want it. So I decided just to cover the whole thing and not use it. So hopefully that is going to stick down there. It's a little bit harder when you're working with a rounded image. I hope I got her on there straight. Looks fairly straight. Hopefully it is because that will drive me nuts if it's not. Good thing is I do have more bottles if I do need to start over. It's not sticking very good. Maybe if I... Hopefully that's going to stick. It's not wanting to very well. I'm going to hold it for a minute. some Mod Podge on the other side. Maybe that'll... It seems to be helping to put the Mod Podge on the top and then kind of smooth it down. One thing you want to make sure is you get your image sealed down good. You don't want that peeling up after you get going. Seems to be working better now. It scared me there for a minute. I thought it wasn't going to lay down and then I was going to have to figure out what to do. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and apply some on the top. And of course, I've got Mod Podge all over my mat now, which was why I was going to put the parchment paper down. Try to get everything ahead of time this time to be prepared for you guys try to improve you know upon the last craft with me that I did but um you know you guys were very nice and um telling me that you thought I did a good job with my first one so I do appreciate that a little bit of encouragement goes a long way <laughs> so the fact that I got quite a bit really helped a lot just going to give that a good um, application of Mod Podge over the top. I like these little bottles. They're easy to work with. You can get those at um, Dollar Tree for a buck, of course. I don't know if money-wise it's really worth it, but you know, you can always refill it from a larger Mod Podge container, and um, it's just... Uh, Fairly easy to work with, I think. Okay, get those corners good. Just kind of smoothing them down around the edges without without letting my finger stick to it, you know, and ruin the image. Although in this kind of um, style, the steampunk, if it's a little tattered, I don't think it's gonna matter too much but um yeah i'm really liking the way that image is looking on there isn't she pretty i like the way i did the coloring too because i you know i want her to stand out and i um printed it on um this patterned paper i don't know if you can see that it, i used the side that was lighter of course but it's got a um, pattern on there so it to me I felt like it gave it a uh, kind of like a um, old I don't want to say vintage because <laughs> this is a vintage style but, <laughs> but it really is kind of that you know same idea that it's kind of like a worn picture okay so we've got our image on there that's looking pretty good 
just trying to make sure it's um, there's no bubbles, but um, yeah, I think that'll that'll work pretty good. So the next thing I want to do, what do I want to do next? That's the only bad part about going cold on a craft with me because um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go next. So you guys can kind of see me fumble a little bit about how to get started. It's like once I get started, it tends to flow, but it's just, you know, getting that momentum going. And maybe what I really need to do is just start thinking about how I want to apply some of these metal pieces. I think what I want to do is start with some of these bigger ones and then I can um, build layers on top of them. I want to add a little more dimension to this one because, um, you know, this is something that will just be sitting up displayed so I can really... Um, do more with it than I did with the book because the book was um, something that I was going to be using to work in and I wanted it to be functional. I'm just kind of thinking maybe around the neck of it would be a good place to put look, these little um, doily pieces to give it that texture and give it decoration on the going up the top. Yeah, I think I am going to do that put these around the top of it but I'm thinking I want to color them before I put them on so the next thing is what color do I want to put on there she doesn't really have a lot of color in her image it's mostly black with brown um, so really whatever colors I want to um, bring out is what I can use. I do have uh, gold and blue metallic paint. I was kind of thinking of going with some of those colors this time. I have some Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. I might, you know, that would go good with that brown. I might go ahead and use some of that. Um, I really need to put something down though, to spray on. Um, let's see, do I have... I have right here. Really, ideally, I should put something down that I might want to use for something else because then it would be sprayed. So I've got some um, book pages here that I tore out of that book. So I think I'll just put them down. And then that way, whatever color they get on them, um, it won't matter. This ink sprayer is kind of blocked up. It's wanting to spray like in a stream instead of, um, it's wanting to spray in a stream instead of, um, you know what I'm saying? It's not giving a good spray. It's just like a stream. I'm just taking a paintbrush that I dipped in water to um, try and clean that off a little bit. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, I'm still wanting to do it that way. Feels like it's getting clogged. So, yeah. Of course I got it all over me because, you know, that's the way I do it. Maybe I'll just put my paintbrush in there. Splatter it. Just make sure I'm not splattering too far off my paper because I do tend to get a little crazy. Put my sprayer in the water, see if I can clean that off a little bit because I really would rather get better coverage by spraying it. Try that again. It's the only bad thing about these sprays is they can get clogged. And of course it's going to be clogged right when I'm trying to do a video. I 
Yeah, it's not really getting it, is it? I'm not really trying to cover the whole thing because I'm going to add some other color in here too. Just trying to get a fairly good amount on it. Whoops. Get over my fingers. I do tend to make a mess. Somebody kind of genie, genie dreamer. She's like, you make a mess like I do. I was like, yes, yes I do. I've never been one of those moms that minded my kids making a mess with art because <laughs> obviously I'm the same way. I figure if you're really messy, you're getting into it, right? Okay. Some of that on there. I think I'm going to add some of this. Actually, I think I've got that metallic blue in a sprayer that I brought up here. So let's try. You can make your own spray ink. Um, I just have this bottle and I just put some of this metallic blue in it with some water. We'll see how that works. Oh, great. And that one's clogged up too. Either that or it just had air in it. Yep. Note to self, try your inks before you film, right? I dipped it in the water. See if that does, nope, that ain't doing a bit of good. I'm going to have to run it through some hot water. So back to plan A. I'll just put some paint down. And I got some water over here. I'll mix it with a little water. I'll just blot it on. I don't know if this is going to turn out the way I want it or not. That first paint, I'm really not liking too much. But if not, I'll put it aside and start over. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just trying stuff. More water. This is just going to be a background. There will be other stuff on top of it. I just don't want it to be white. I would really rather the spray part had worked. Okay, let's add a little bit of gold. I might not even like it when I get done with it, but by the time I get stuff on top of it, it might be a different story. I don't know. To me right now, it's kind of looking like a hot mess. You know what? I wonder what these um, perfect pearls would look like on it. Maybe they'll save the day. So I'm not really... I mean, it's alright. I don't really care for this color that I used first. Let's try some of the... There's some blue. And some gold. Computer. We will use them all. all right. And this is just a powder. You can use it wet or dry. I am going to um, put something out here and add some water to it. Build it over here. Maybe I'll put it on and add some water once it's on. So 
sometimes you just got to try stuff and see what you end up with. If you don't like it, well, you can just get rid of it or you can use it for something else. You just never know. Of course, the stuff, sometimes it looks different when it dries, too. I don't have a lot of time to work today because I have to take my daughter to a couple appointments. She has uh, migraines, unfortunately. You know, I'm kind of liking that better as I get that um, Perfect Pearls on it. It's giving it more of a metal sheen kind of look, you know. I may end up liking it. You never know. Anyway, she gets migraines, and she's been seeing the neurologist since she was about five. And tried different medications and stuff. She usually gets them about every nine weeks, and it usually lasts a week. So she misses a lot of school, unfortunately. And uh, now she has this new kind of migraine that I didn't even know was a migraine where um, you can have the dizziness, the nausea, you can even get a stomach ache without having the actual pain. So when she started having that, I thought there was something else going on with her. Little did I know it was just another kind of migraine. So today we are going to the neurologist to have a test done to see if she truly is having this kind of migraine, which we're pretty sure she is. And apparently there's some sort of therapy that you can do, um, which I have no idea what that means, where you can learn to help yourself with like the dizziness and the nausea. And the place that does that kind of therapy, because not everybody does, is actually where I got my physical therapy for my um, slipped vertebrae. So, once she has this test done, she can be referred for um, the therapy. So, hopefully, when she has these bouts, she can do something to um, help herself with it so she won't miss school for these as well. Because when she gets the dizziness and stuff, she can't be at school. So... She's 15, and, you know, to have to deal with this stuff and to having been dealing with it since she was five, I just feel really bad for her. So hopefully this will be one thing at least that we can do to um, make it a little bit easier for her. So we'll see. And then she has a dentist appointment after that. <laughs> but they're both in the same town, which is not the town that we live in. So... I purposely made them the same day. We already had the dentist appointment. And I did ask them, you know, if this testing was anything that would, um, you know, hinder her in the dentist appointment. Would it make her feel sick or whatever. But um, they said no, that if she actually does have this kind of migraine, that they will do the therapy with her right then and there to... Um, take care of whatever dizziness she might have. I don't know, you guys. What do you think about the way this is turning out? I'm kind of liking it. By the time you get all those colors mixed in there, it's got like a multi-colored metallic sheen going. I didn't really like it at first, to be honest. Not using this again, that's for sure. But these perfect pearls on here, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of liking the effect I'm getting. And, of course, it'll be different once it dries, too. I don't have that um, heat tool out. But um, I think it's right by here where I can grab it. Because I would kind of like to see how it's going to look. I'm just trying to spread this paint around a little bit. So it's not all in one spot. So I can use it. Because I don't like to waste paint. So I put these book pages down. So anyway, I think I have enough 
paint on here now. I kind of like the way those are looking. I just want to make sure there's no white showing through. Where are we at with time? I know the time goes by so super fast. Where is my time counter? Uh, let's see. Of course, I can't see it when I'm sitting down. Looks like we're at about five minutes. Cover up right here. I'm trying to cover up that red that I used at first or that I, it's not really red I don't know what it is but anyway I didn't really care for that on here it wasn't doing what I wanted it wasn't giving me the effect that I wanted you know and that's what you do if you if you don't like what you first get keep going with it because sometimes you can save it and turn it into something that will work all right so I'm gonna put my brush in water and Yep, here's my heat gun right here. It's still that one that was smoking. And uh, one of my friends on YouTube, she did some research on it. Thank you, Ann, for taking the time to uh, look up on that heat gun, why it was smoking and stuff. She was concerned. Where's my... Sorry, I was trying to find my extension cord so I could plug this in. Anyway, she was concerned about that. So she looked it up for me, and apparently it's an issue they have, and if it keeps smoking, you send it back, but it should stop. So we'll see what happens with it. drying because um, it does get super hot uh, you can use tweezers if you want to if you want to you know get it closer but maybe you'll be right I'm seeing some 